magical treats taste great, but justice and equality taste better. To combat hate, all ad revenue from My HP Kitchen will be donated to trans and LGBTQ charities. Thank you for supporting the kitchen and helping make the world a better place. Mischief managed. Hello, witches, wizards, and those who have just escaped from Azkaban. Welcome back to my Harry Potter kitchen, the YouTube series where we're baking our way through the Harry Potter books, creating magical recipes every time we find an item of food and drink inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we served up some Hogwarts house inspired liver pâtés then check out the link down below in the description to catch up and if you're new to the kitchen and you don't want to miss a single Harry Potter recipe then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get an alert every magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. Speaking of which it's Monday so let's make some magic. <laughs> Our next recipe from the Prison of Azkaban can also be found in Chapter 4, The Leaky Cauldron. Harry is out exploring Diagon Alley and meets Florian Fortescue at the ice cream parlour, who gave Harry free sundaes every half hour. Harry's found the most famous ice cream parlour in the Wizarding World, so let's whip up something special. Harry is indulging himself with some sundaes and they always remind me of summer so I couldn't wait to turn this into another magical recipe. We actually find out way way later on in the book in chapter 16 that he is enjoying choco nut sundaes. So that is what we're going to use to inspire this week's recipe. I'm going to show you how to make an incredible homemade chocolate hazelnut praline ice cream and then we're going to also make some chocolate brownies and a hot chocolate fudge sauce serve that all up together with some whipped cream so it is going to be the most magical sundae that you've ever seen first things first we do need to prepare our ice cream base so this is what you need to do to make your choco nut ice cream you want to begin by heating the milk and cream in a pan you want this to be hot but be careful that it doesn't boil or burn. While the milk is warming you can prepare your chocolate paste by pouring your cocoa powder into a bowl and adding in a small amount of the warm milk. Stir this through until it's nice and smooth and if it's too thick add in a little more milk. Return this to the pan and then whisk it through until you have a nice smooth chocolate milk. You can then remove that from the heat and prepare your egg custard base. For this, I'm going to separate my eggs as we only need the yolks for this recipe and pour those into a bowl along with my sugar. Whisk this for about one to two minutes until it's light and fluffy. At this point, you can also flavor the mixture with vanilla and salt. I'm then going to slowly incorporate the chocolate milk into the egg mixture a little bit at a time and make sure you whisk this continuously to make sure your eggs don't scramble. Once that's well incorporated I'm then going to return that back into the rest of the chocolate milk, whisk that through and return to the hob to cook through. You'll know it's ready once the mixture coats the back of a spoon so you should be able to swipe your finger across and it leave a trail. To help this cool down quicker, I've got myself an ice water bath, so I'm going to pop that into a different bowl and then hold it as I keep on stirring. Once that's closer to room temperature, you can then take that out and I'm going to pour it into some jugs just to make it easier to handle later. Cover with cling film and press that down to the surface to prevent a skin from forming. They can then go into the fridge to chill until we're ready to use. If you're using an ice cream maker at home, this will work best if you chill your ice cream base for as long as possible. So I like to make it the day before, then you can also put your ice cream machine base into the freezer overnight as well. And then in the afternoon, you have the perfect homemade ice cream waiting for you. I'm also going to add some chocolate brownies into this sundae just to give an extra hit of sweet chocolate goodness. But if you don't fancy it, you can always mix things up and add in some fruit, syrups or anything else that takes your fancy. To make the easy chocolate fudge brownies, all you need to do is place a bowl over simmering water and add in your butter and your chocolate. This will work quicker if your chocolate has been chopped up into small chunks. 
In another bowl, I'm also gonna crack in my egg and sugar and then whisk that until light and frothy. You can also add in some optional vanilla at this point as well. Pour the melted chocolate mixture into the eggs, whisking continuously as you go to make sure that the eggs don't scramble. I'm then gonna sift in the dry ingredients, that's the flour, cocoa and salt, and then fold that through. To give this an extra chocolatey hit, I'm gonna add in some rough chop chunks of white chocolate and some dark chocolate chips. Grease and line your baking tin, and then I'm gonna pour the brownie batter in, spreading that out so it's got a nice, thin, even layer. You can then bake that in the oven for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius until it's just set, but still fudgy. Allow that to cool in the tray before removing and then chopping into some bite-sized cubes. Again, these super easy chocolate brownies will last in the fridge for about three to five days. So you can also make them in advance and then save them for your Sundays if you have any left, but they're pretty irresistible. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, now is the time that we can bring our ice cream to life. So I'm gonna churn that up in my ice cream maker. If you don't have one though, you can just do this in the fridge with some Tupperware. All you want to do is pop that into a tub, freeze it for about an hour, whisk it up as much as possible, back in for another hour and just keep repeating that until it's nice and thick. It won't be as smooth as if you use an ice cream maker, but it will still taste incredible. To make this ice cream super smooth, I'm using the attachment on my KitchenAid. So I've got that set up and then I'm gonna slowly pour in the chocolate ice cream base and then churn it for about 20 minutes. Because the bowl has been chilling for about 15 hours in the freezer, it's super cold and will help gradually turn this into a super smooth ice cream. While the ice cream is churning, I've roughly chopped up some hazelnuts and then added those into the mixture along with some dark chocolate chunks. Of course, you don't have to use these toppings, so feel free to mix it up if you like. Once your ice cream is lovely and thick, it might still be a little bit too soft to form a sundae. So I'm gonna transfer that into my ice cream dish and then pop that into the freezer for about half an hour to 45 minutes so it gets a little firmer. Don't worry, it will still be lovely and soft when we scoop it out. Our last ingredient to prepare for our ultimate sundae is the hot chocolate fudge sauce. This is gonna help bring everything together and add one final hit of chocolatey goodness. It's also super easy to make and you can do it ahead of time, leave it in the fridge. It will thicken up, but when you're ready to serve, all you need to do is take it out, pop it in the microwave and it will heat up and thin down and be ready to pour. For our chocolate fudge sundae sauce, it is super easy to make. All you need to do is heat your sugar and cream, stirring that through until the sugar has dissolved. Add in your cocoa powder and whisk through until it's all dissolved and well combined. Add in the butter and then stir through as it melts and you'll notice your fudge sauce begin to thicken. Once that's lovely and glossy, you can also flavor this with some vanilla and a pinch of salt. This is either good to use straight away, or if you're making it in advance, you can let it cool, pop it into the fridge, and then just warm it up before you serve. All that's left to do is assemble our sundae, so pile it on high and feel free to personalize it with whichever toppings you like. I'm starting off with some cube brownies, some chocolate fudge sauce, some generous scoops of ice cream, and then repeat. Finish it off with a massive swell of squirty cream, a drizzle of chocolate sauce, and you can also add some chopped nuts, chocolate chips, or anything else you fancy. And with that, Fortescue's Choco Nut Sundae is ready to serve. Tuck in before it melts. And with that, our magical Fortescue-inspired choco nut sundaes are complete. These are incredible for a summer day in the wizarding world, or any day for that matter. So let me know if you're gonna give them a go. Pop me a comment, or if you take any pictures of your own, I'd love to see them, so send them in on Instagram. That's all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see more Harry Potter recipes, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. I'm off to tuck into my Sundays, so I'll see you next week. <laughs>